honeybee colonies just like this one work hard. Collectively, the bees in the nest travel thousands of miles every year to collect nectar from flowers to make honey. They also collect pollen from flowers to bring back to their nest to feed their young. But honeybee colonies undergo considerable amounts of stress. That's why we have beekeepers. Beekeepers manage colonies to do away with things like parasitic mites that get on the outside of the bee body or help bees combat many of the pathogens such as the bacteria, the fungal diseases, and the viral diseases that these bee colonies can get. Recently, honeybee populations around the globe have been suffering from a new phenomenon called colony collapse disorder, or CCD. Now, CCD was first discovered in Florida in 2006, and in colonies affected by CCD, they otherwise appear healthy just weeks before they collapse. Take a look at these three colonies here. There's a colony on my right and on my left that are issuing a large number of bees. Bees are coming and going into these nests. But this colony in the middle, you can tell that there's something wrong. First of all, there are no bees entering and exiting the nest. Secondly, when I look on the ground in front of the colonies, I see no bees on the ground, no, no living bees or dead bees. My second cause for concern is highlighted when I open the colony and I see that there are no bees anywhere. There are no living bees working these combs like they should be. And then furthermore, there are no dead bees on the bottom of this colony. The second symptom associated with colonies collapse disorder in the nest is the fact that there's lots of brood. Now brood is the term that we use to refer to the immature stage of bee development. If you look at this comb, you'll notice that there's an area here of wax that's brown. Now under all of those wax cappings are immature or baby bees developing. In CCD colonies, you have a missing adults but lots of baby bees and this is just simply not characteristic of the other pest and pathogens that affect our colony. Usually when a bee colony is suffering from a traditional pest or disease, their adult populations will slowly dwindle and the amount of brood will dwindle with it. But in CCD colonies, no adults anywhere, but lots of baby bees left behind in the nest. Scientists and beekeepers alike have been working feverishly to understand the causes of CCD and how to mitigate those causes. A lot of that research takes place at field stations like this, on colonies just like these where researchers are collecting samples and looking for pesticide residues and pathogen loads. But a tremendous amount of research also takes place in the lab where we can use cutting edge technologies to get a handle on what's causing CCD. Why does it even matter if honeybee populations start to decline? Well, experts suggest that since CCD has been discovered, we're losing somewhere between 30 and 40% of our colonies on a yearly basis. Now, even though most of these colonies are made back as splits later on by beekeepers, that level of loss is important because honeybees pollinate crops. When they collect pollen from flowers, what ultimately happens is these flowers will produce fruits, vegetables, nuts, or berries. So honeybees are very responsible for what we eat Honeybees are even indirectly responsible for the production of dairy and poultry and beef. How's that? Well, it's real simple. Honeybees pollinate alfalfa and clover, which are important fodder crops for these animals. Without honeybees, we would simply have problems feeding the world. Many people ask me what they can do to help save the bees, and there's four things that I usually point out to them. First of all, you can plant pollinator-friendly flowers, like this sunflower here, flowers that bees can pollinate and benefit from. Secondly, you can reduce pesticide use in and around your home to minimize the impacts of pesticides on bees. Third, you can support bee research by donating time or money to bee research institutes. And finally, you can become a beekeeper. Owning bee colonies is a great way to help slow down the decline of honeybee populations globally. Honeybees are not only hard workers, but they're tough and resilient. And as a result, honeybees have been able to rebound from colony collapse disorder. In Florida alone, since 2006, the number of managed honeybee colonies like this one has almost doubled. And that's good news for humans since our lives are so intimately tied to the health of honeybees. <laughs>